Hello folks, this is a subscriber request video. I had a subscriber ask me how I would create an EMP box to protect a hearing aid. Uh, well, after we exchanged emails about wearing tinfoil hats, uh, I gave it some serious thought. And I came up with two ideas that I would put in the super glue and duct tape category. Meaning how many times have you had a friend or an instance where you didn't have exactly the right fastener and you looked at each other and said, hey, let's just apply some super glue, wrap it in duct tape, and it'll hold. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but that leads to the fun stories of life. So the first one, if I'm simply going to store a hearing aid, a spare hearing aid, and a set of batteries, the simplest thing to do would be to get a bottle of aspirin or a container like that and put your spare hearing aid and your uh, batteries inside it. Uh, next, I would wrap it with several layers of tinfoil, then a layer of plastic wrap, then another layer of tinfoil, and I would secure it all together with a layer of metal foil tape, and you end up with something that looks like half a ho-ho. Um, but it should work. You will have two metal layers inside of there and then a layer of tape, so hopefully that will protect you. Again, I don't have a radio that's small enough to put in there to test it, but in theory it should work. The other solution I have is a little more elegant and a little more fun. Uh, it's to take your hearing aid and your batteries, stick them inside a plastic Ziploc bag, such as this little pill bag from Walmart, then take a mini Altoids tin and stick that little baggie inside of there so it's insulated from the surface. Then take that Altoids tin. Now, in theory, this should be good enough for it. Take that Altoids tin, stick it inside another Ziploc baggie for insulation, and take another larger Altoids tin, put that all inside there, and seal that up. And now you have a metal surface all around, a plastic insulator, a metal surface all around, a plastic insulator, and then finally your hearing aid and your batteries. Two layers of metal inside there. Now, I tested the larger Altoids tins using my iPod, tuned to a radio station with the volume all the way up and the headphones on it. Stuck it inside the tin, closed the lid, and the iPod then went to static, which proves that in theory it works. Now as I manipulated the Altoids tin, I would very minutely be able to hear the radio station. I think that some of that is because when you look at the Altoids tins, where the hinges are, there's actually some holes. Um, and RF frequency can penetrate your metal shield through those gaps. And that, again, is why I have the two layers of tins, not just one, but two. Now, I come from an engineering background, so I can't just leave it at that. So what I plan on doing is showing you how to use the Altoids tins, but line them with copper tape purchased on Amazon. Then on top of the copper tape, putting some electrical tape. I have some nice white electrical tape, so it'll look pretty. And that will provide my insulation layers. And then inside the final Altoids tin, I have half of a contact lens case. So there's that right there. So what we're basically gonna end up with, as I pull all this off the table for you, uh, we're going to use something that looks a little more prepperish, a Coleman first aid tin, same size as an Altoid tin. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna cover the inside of the lid, the inside of the base with the copper tape. We're then going to take our smaller Altoids tin, and we're, again, we're gonna cover the inside of the lid and the inside of the base with the copper tape. And you would then have your contacts lens case to provide your insulator on the inside. So I do not need to cover this, the inside of this little one with electrical tape. So I'd put the small little hearing aid inside of here. Those little micro guys are getting smaller and smaller. Put that inside of there, close that up. Put this inside of there and close that up. But then if you want to, you know, in the spirit of the hearing aid, add a USB stick that has medical information inside of it and then close that up. I'm um, going to show you how I do all that. I'll stop at several times during it to show you the different steps. So the first step is to go around the outside of each tin with some blue painter's tape. This is going to show me how far down on the top lip 
to wrap my copper tape. Again, on the far side, I'm gonna pull it all the way down to the hinges as I possibly can to cover up the hole. And then obviously on the inside, not sure if you can see that, get that angled right. The inside where the hole is, the copper tape will cover it from the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything with the blue tape, show you what they look like once I've done that. Okay, so here are the tins with the lids removed and the bottom's wrapped with the blue painter's tape. So you can see how far down you need to wrap or overlap your copper tape. So next up we'll move on to is lining the inside of the lids with copper tape and then lining the bases with copper tape and overlapping over this edge. Because what we want to do is get the edge with copper to match up with the copper on the inside of the lid and covering any holes where the hinges um, are punched out for the lids. So that's what we're going to attempt to accomplish in this step. Uh, so I'll come back when I have everything wrapped with the copper tape. Okay, so this is what they look like lined with the copper tape. You can see it comes up over the edge on the bottom. Inside is all lined. The lid is lined only on the inside. Same for the little one. And it's lid. Inside the little one, we're going to put the contact lens case so we don't need to line that one with plastic. This is the only thing that's going to go in there. This is going to provide insulation from the metal surface. For the larger one, however, we need to insulate this metal surface from this metal surface. So we are going to use some white electrical tape. So I will do that next and then I will stop once I have that completed to show you what everything looks like. So here's the finished product. The larger one has been lined with the white electrical tape on the lid and in the base. Notice on the lid I left exposed copper so that this edge can mate to it tightly. Uh, the little one, I haven't put electrical tape in because again, the contact lens case is made out of plastic, so that should provide my insulating layer. Uh, so, very intriguing task on how to do this. Um, so now the only thing to do is to shut everything up and put everything together. So you simply drop in the contact lens case with your hearing aid, pop that shut, seals a lot tighter now. Take your little Altoids tin and put it into the larger case. Then add your medical USB stick, if you so chose, and then close the larger tin. And yes, it does seal much tighter now that the copper is there. But there you go. Still looks pretty much the way it had before. Close like a tin. And there you go. So hopefully this video has been instructional, showing you how to create a small EMP box using copper tape and electrical tape and a small Altoids tin container. If you have any questions, please submit them in the comments. As always, please subscribe and thank you for watching.